Very suddenly, there came back to my soul motion and sound, the tumultuous motion of the heart, and in my ears, the sound of its beating. Then a pause, in which all is blank. Then again, sound, and motion, and touch. A tingling sensation pervading my frame. Then the mere consciousness of existence, without thought, a condition which lasted long. Against the Inquisition, I hereby sentence you to death. I was sick, sick unto death with that long agony, and when they at length unbound me and I was permitted to sit, I felt that my senses were leaving me. The sentence, the dread sentence of death. I saw that some ten or twelve vibrations would bring the steel in actual contact with my robe. And with this observation, there suddenly came over my spirit all the keen, collected calmness of despair. Guards, take her away. What boots it to tell of the long, long hours of horror, more than mortal, during which I counted the rushing vibrations of the steel, inch by inch, line by line, with the descent only appreciable at intervals that seemed ages, down and still down it came. Days passed, it might have been that many days passed, ear is swept so closely over me as to fan me with its acrid breath. And that's our take on Edgar Allan Poe's The Pit and the Pendulum. Get it at your Pima County Public Library. Yeah!